what you see in front of me are commonly thought to be geysers. But after further investigation, we came to discover that these are not the naturally forming wonders of the environment, but they are in fact something totally different. To find out why these geysers are actually here, we decided to investigate the Black Lick Creek Watershed Association. Water pollution. It is one of the many global problems that we are still facing to this day. Water pollution affects plants and organisms living in the bodies of water, which can later not only affect individual populations of species, but also natural biological communities. In our very own community lies the Black Lick Creek, which over many years has been severely polluted by acid mine drainage. But it was not until about 20 years ago that people realized that something had to be done about it. And thus, the Black Lick Creek Watershed Association was born. To find out more about what is being done to help clean up the creek, we got a chance to talk to John Ferraro, a member of the BCWA. These geysers were created <laughs> because the uh, mine pool underneath us was actually causing pressure, pushing up and coming through the people who live along here, coming up through their basements. And it was actually pushing some of the roadway up. So the DEP came in and drilled holes here in the stream bed to relieve the pressure. There was actually six or eight mines right in this area here, and each one of them <laughs> uh, killed the stream, killed the Blackley Creek. Back then, there were no laws against what they did with their water. It was just dumped into the stream. Well, now there's laws in effect where they will take the pro proper, they're being watched. And plus, they want to be good citizens now too because they realize the damage that's been done over the years. The older mines, it was a cost thing. It was cheaper just to dump it in the water, dump it in the streams and leave it go. They didn't have to answer to anybody because they were the kings. They had the money and the fire. There's plenty of goals. The first and most important one is to clean up what's been done in the past and to make sure it never happens again. In the last 20 years, the BCWA and other organizations have made multiple efforts and created several different projects at an attempt to clean the creek. One of these efforts include the passive treatment system. During this project, the mine discharge was released into the first pond and the water was then sent down through the remaining ponds in a six-step process to purify the water. Although this project was not 100% effective, it still remains as one of the most well thought out projects to fix the acid mine drainage and it still remains in the AMD and art site in Vintendale. The Black Lick Creek, however, is not the only body of water in our community that has been severely polluted due to mining waste. The abandoned mine drainage abatement project was completed in 1993. It was the first passive wetland treatment system constructed in the Stony Creek River watershed and it was also the first Stony Creek Connemaw River Improvement Project coordinated on the ground AMD abatement system. The treatment system was rehabilitated and reconstructed in 2002. The Rock Tunnel AMD Enhancement Project was initiated to rehabilitate and upgrade the existing passive mine drainage treatment system and optimize the design to better treat the mine discharge. The project site is approximately two acres in aerial extent. To find out more about the AMD Enhancement Project, we got a chance to talk to Bob Tajeski, a retired member of the Department of Environmental Protection of Pennsylvania. The purpose of it was to eliminate a 2,000 gallon per minute discharge into the Benz Creek, South Fork of the Benz Creek, a cold water fishery. And the project uh, was meant to increase the retention time of the water so that the iron would drop out before it enters the Benz Creek. And it used a series of baffles to make the water travel a larger distance and increase the retention time. And it significantly reduced the amount of iron entering the Benz Creek. It allowed the, the uh, creek to be used for fishing in a far longer distance into Johnstown. After conducting all of this research, Eric and I truly understand the significance of water pollution and also how serious measures are being taken to resolve the issue. 
But one question that remained in her mind was why such serious measures are being taken and why it was all worth it in the end. Mr. Ferraro was able to answer this for us. Uh, well, it's just the right thing to do. Uh, it's not only going to help these small communities along here. Look how much of a big difference just having the bike trail through here. That's called, just think if you had uh, great water right next to a bike trail where you'd have canoeing and fishing and you'd see all kinds of small industries spring up just along those lines.